Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about LTE Plus or LTE Advanced. What is it and why should you care? Well behind me you can see there are some cell phone towers and I chose this location on purpose because I know that Globe Philippines have already got LTE Plus or LTE Advanced working in this area. Now if you watch my channel you should already know that LTE is a kind of mobile data or a mobile internet. The way that LTE works is that you have a single connection between your cell phone and the cell tower over there on one band or one frequency via one antenna. So if we do an analogy, let's say I have this straw here and I put it between the cell phone and the tower. Let me set this up. So this is my cell phone and this is a cell tower. Imagine the straw going between them is the data connection. We can only use one antenna at a time and we can only use one band at a time. The way that it works with LTE Advanced is that you have multiple connections across multiple bands going to multiple antennas. Now, I'm sorry if that's not the best analogy. I'm trying to think of the best way to show it on camera and it's a little bit difficult. Um, but basically what it means in the most simple terms, instead of having a single connection to one antenna on one band, it can aggregate multiple bands together and send the data out through multiple antennas. So you can get a higher speed and you can get a more reliable speed, um, especially if the antenna has a lot of different users. This is another big benefit. And this benefits you, the end user, because cell towers can only handle so many people. You might have experienced it where you have to keep turning your data on and off before you can get a connection. Well, cell towers can only handle so many people. So by having LTE Advanced, they can spread it out much better across multiple bands and multiple antennas. So it's really a big improvement. Another big benefit is the way that the relays work. Right now, let's imagine that this is the main cell tower for Globe. There might be a repeater over that way or a relay. The way those repeaters or relays work right now is that they listen for anything on the Globe network and then they just repeat it. So they don't try and work out, do I actually need to repeat this? Is there someone in my area that needs this? They just listen and amplify or listen and repeat. With LTE Advanced, it will actually listen and then say like, okay, is this data going to someone in my area? If it's not, I'll just discard it. If it is, I'll pass it on. So again, this means that they can install smaller relays or smaller repeaters and they're more efficient. So that's actually better for us, the end user, because it means everything is more efficient. It means they can handle more users and hopefully we'll get a better connection. So it's not just about getting better download and upload speeds. It's also about the towers being more efficient, being able to handle more users, being able to be more reliable for us. So I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, I don't need faster internet because I can already get say 20 or 30 megabit per second on regular LTE and I go through my data cap in like an hour. So I understand that and I agree with you. Like, why do we need 100 megabit or 200 megabit mobile data when we only get say an 800 megabyte data allocation? You're gonna blow through it so fast. So it's not just about speed, it's also about efficiency and reliability. But since we're talking about speed, let's actually do a speed test. I'll do one using regular LTE with Globe and then another one doing LTE Plus with Globe and we'll see what the speed difference is. So let me bring the camera closer so you can see the phone. So let's start with a speed test on regular LTE with Globe. So we've got a ping of 17 milliseconds. It looks like our download is probably going to be around 5 megabit, let's see. So we got around 5.49 megabit down. Let's see what our upload is like. So 17 milliseconds ping, 5.49 down and 8.30 up. Now let's try again, but with LTE Plus. So you can see we're now on LTE Plus. Let's do the speed test again. So we got a ping of 29 milliseconds, a little bit higher on the ping, but look at that download. It's nearly double what we had a minute ago. So let's see where it ends up. So around 14.4 megabit down. Let's see what our upload's like. Okay, it's a bit jumpy, but look at that. It's definitely a big improvement. So 14.4 down and 18 up. So that's the power of LTE Plus. It really does make a big difference, especially on highly congested cell towers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very simple explanation. I have simplified it and there is a lot more to LTE Plus or LTE Advanced than what I've told you. But for the end user, this is pretty much what you need to know. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.